In this video, I'm going to use SPSS to perform a factorial ANOVA on two independent factors. Here on the left, we have our problem. Researchers want to test a new anti-anxiety medication. They measure the anxiety of 36 participants on three different dosages of the medication, 0 mg, 50 mg, and 100 mg. Participants are also divided based on what school they are attending, which researchers hypothesize will also affect anxiety levels. Anxiety is rated on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being high and 1 being low. Use an alpha level of 0 0.05 to conduct your analysis. So down here we have all of our data. We have high school students and college students, we have dosages, and we have their actual anxiety scores. So here we have two independent variables. We have school with two levels, we have dosage with three levels, and we also have our dependent variable of score. So now let's go into SPSS. Right now we're in data view, and data view is completely empty. Before we start typing into data view, we need to go down to variable view and enter in our variables. So we've got three variables we're going to put in. First is our independent variable, school. Next we have our independent variable, dosage. And here we've got our dependent variable. We're just going to call it eh, anxiety. Why not? So first we need to go over to school and go to values. We have to click this button. We're going to use one. We're going to use one to represent high school students. And we're going to use two to represent college students. And hit OK. Now we're also going to go to dosage and go to values. We're going to use one to represent 50 milligrams. Two, oops, sorry, let me uh, go back for a minute. We're going to use one to represent zero milligrams. Two is going to be 50 milligrams. And three will be 100 milligrams. So there we go. We're going to hit OK. And now we can just leave all of this, oh, yeah, we can leave all this information here the way it is now. We don't need to change any of it for what we're doing. This just very simple factorial ANOVA. So let's go back to data view. Now look at this. We have 36 total scores in groups of six. Like for example, these six students are high school students. So we got six high school students and they're getting the first dosage, which is zero milligrams. So we put in their scores, three, four, five, three, four, three. Next, we have six college students that are getting zero milligrams. So we put in their scores, one, two, one, 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 two. There we go. Next, we've got six more high school students, except they're getting 50 milligrams. So they've got five, four, three, five, five, five. Next, we'll go down, and we've got our six college students that are getting 50 milligrams. So that's five, four, three, five, five, four. Here we've got, oops, we got our six high school students that are getting a hundred milligrams. That's seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, seven. Oops, seven, seven. And finally, we have our six college students. Oops, I messed that up again. Six college students that are getting dosages of a hundred milligrams. So that's nine, eight, nine, eight, seven, nine. So there we go. You can see that we've got 36 rows because we had 36 different people that we measured. And here we've classified their scores based on their school, high school or college, and their dosage, zero, 50, or 100. So now let's go to analyze and we'll go to the general linear model. Next, let's click on univariate. Here we have two fixed factors, which are basically our independent variables. We have school and we have dosage, so we move those over there. And here our independent variable is anxiety. Now we're going to hit OK to perform our factorial ANOVA. Here we have our factorial ANOVA, and it tested for three different things. Here we've got school, here we've got dosage, and here we have the interaction between school and dosage. First, we look at the F value for school. 
school had a net value of 4.17 and a significance level, or a p-value rather, of 0 0.05. Although it's not 0 0.05 exactly. Let me click on this to see it. There we go, it's actually 0 0.04988. So we're lucky there. It's actually just barely below 0 0.05. And because it is, we can reject the null hypothesis that there is no difference between schools and say that there is a difference between schools. What that means is that we think there's a difference between high school and college students when it comes to anxiety. Next, we're going to look at dosage. Dosage had an F value of 162.526 and a significance value that's almost zero. So we're going to say that we're going to reject the null hypothesis for dosage, which means that there's a difference between dosage. There's a difference on anxiety somewhere between zero milligrams, 50 milligrams, and 100 milligrams. Finally, we're going to look at the interaction between school and dosage. Here, our F statistic is 15.928. Again, we have a significance level that's very close to zero, definitely much less than 0 0.05. So we're going to reject the null hypothesis and say that an interaction is present. What that means is that the effect of school depends on what level of dosage you're at, and the effect of dosage depends on what level of school you're at. So now we've performed our independent samples, or rather our factorial ANOVA, on two independent factors.